And it's Priscilla Bats Allen, Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and this is part two. This painting was dry from yesterday I did this painting and so today I started without you. You can see there's a line. I filled in one of these, uh, the points on this starburst and I'm thinking that it would be good to have my glasses and I brought them with me. There they are. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. So I have all kinds of other colors and I have all kinds of desires. Now I did use a fatter squeeze bottle at first, but the truth is that I just want to um, I just want to play with this a little bit and uh, add some elements of definition. And this little bottle can go right over the edge, which is a nice thing without overly dripping. And I'm going to try and do this somewhat evenly. Because I think it was the lack of symmetry that bothered me. And it's not going to be perfect still, but um, it's going to be a little bit less irritating to me. I think that's the problem. Um, I also have some other paint. My friend Patty, or my student Patty, in the neighborhood. Hi, Patty. Um, I've got her little bottle, and I think these are cool. I'm not sure what I put in there. It, it may not be pouring medium added black product, but. Um, Anyway, let me continue on with my plan and see how I like how it's turning out. I have some things I'm not overly pleased with, like the fact that I would really like that to go away. Or go away is the wrong way to put it. I never use a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor, but I'm going to do it right now because I want that go right down there because I need a line of demarcation it's just um, having it filled all the way in there isn't working for me so I'm making some adjustments I may make more adjustments actually I may do that a lot of places I'm not so sure about that right there but I can throw a little gold in there and none will be the wiser well you will but nobody else will so I'm just going to grab a hold of some more of those. Oops. I don't really want to get any white on there. I think I love them. <laughs> so I'm all good with that. I think they'll help the cohesive, the, um, the pattern for me quite a bit. And I can always just lay my skewer in if I'm concerned with widening up or straightening out. Ain't no big thing. Just being a little bit cautious. And I could probably just keep doing that. This is the same issue. Right here, I want some some white and I'm going to use a clean skewer hopefully if I can find one I have a package of them handy I'm going to use the pointed end to move that up orange is notoriously hard to get rid of but I have confidence after I uh, do some other magic here that it will all blend together nicely or at least nicer than it was and I liked it the way it was it was just um, more abstract that I could live with this. Somebody who has occasional OCD, what can I say? It's the way it goes. So what else have I got here that I want? I kind of think that's the same issue. I think just a little goes a long way in some cases. I'm going to try and use my dedicated skewer that has the white paint on it. See how I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing the perfect job or not, but um, it seems to be camouflaged somewhat well, so I'm not unhappy with that. I think I'm just going to run another gold line right up there, as I've been doing. Come out. Small bottles are good for stuff, certain things. Find my gold skewer. Not a perfectly straight line. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for improvement. 
that's the first one I did. That one's kind of dry, or maybe it's close to that anyway. So I'm just going to keep at this for another minute. Yeah, I think that's going to help me out. I'm not sure I'm going to use the black. This one's a little bent. I want to do two on each, but I don't want to go so far overboard that I can't get back. I think I will add a few more here and there. to take my time for a second when I have little details. There's no camouflaging that thick line. It's just going to have to be there. That's the way I started and that's what I'm stuck with. And I'll learn to live with it. I'm starting from the, from the edge out. That's <laughs> not good. Let me see if I can get some of that to go away with a finger. It occurs to me if I do this very poorly, I don't have to show you, but um, there will be a picture eventually somewhere of the finished product. not used to having to be quite so careful. So I think it's time to be less cautious and more abstract. And just go for it. Maybe unhappy about this decision though. I hope not. I thought about adding some other colors and I'm not really done with that decision yet. I am covering over some of my original colorful stripes, but I think it's it's coming together okay. I'm not I'm not minding it anymore. That needs to go over the edge and that needs to come up from it. So do I want to add anything else? some of my lines. A little spiral. I seem to be missing something over here. Got to get that squeeze right. I don't want to annihilate all of the pretty colors there, but I do want to make pattern. It's somewhat consistent. I like that. I'm good with that. I think I can live with that. I want to drag some right down through the center. Do I dare? Will it destroy anything? I don't know. I'm going to have to try. saying you can't have too much gold. I guess this is the test. Right over the edge. I 
I don't know about needing any other color. I kind of want to put some of my favorite purple in there, but um, maybe just a dot here or there. This has got a golden iridescent pearl fine. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's not a medium. It's not paint. Hmm. A little less symmetrical than I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, I'm but just batting a thousand here. Oh well, you get to see my imperfect, my imperfections. Because the painting is dry, it means. I can wipe some of this off, which is okay with me right now. Because obviously my circle is warped, and I don't really want it warped. So I'm going to try and change that, at least to modify it so it's a little less obnoxious. I've got some, what have I got? I've got some metallic, excuse me, some color shift turquoise. Oh, really? Okay, well, there's my proof. Right out. Splooge. Major splooge. Accidents will happen, I guess. But that does make me want to just find out what's going on. Um, I usually use a little scoop. Put some paint in the bottom. I know I'm killing a lot of time here, but if I confuse the eye a little bit, then it might help help me adjust my circle. I think that's working nicely. I know this has kept me from wanting to add some black. I wonder if I can take my skewer lay a little bit of that color right down on those rays. color if I need to. I'm not squeezing it into place because of the blobs I just had and it makes me a little nervous to... I don't really want to have any more blobs if I can help it right now. Some of it may disappear if there wasn't enough of it to begin with. I remember that the turquoise and the gold often sell together, so that would be a nice thing. I can really do anything I want to this at this point because <laughs> it's already come so close to disappointing me a couple times. I'm not feeling like I'm restrained from getting creative. So I think I'm just going to widen those out right there. Throw a little more in a couple places it's missing. Sometimes it's good to just take your time. I don't usually give myself that uh, that opportunity. I want to do other stuff with this. I want to do really weird stuff. Where's my neon pink? I'd really like to put some neon pink right there and see what happens. When I go around that could take a while. We will run out of time before I get all that in place. And it might be super obnoxious too. I can also change my colors up. 
I had this sort of feeling I might do something really obnoxious today. Especially with this star. It had really nice qualities to begin with, but... When it was uneven, it just sort of threw me off. I will have to be going over the edge. Do I want to add the same color, or do I want to add different colors? Maybe I'll just evenly, somewhat evenly distribute it where it is right now and use whatever is left on the skewer to move on to the next section. Maybe the turquoise is the perfect thing in between. I'll have to call this embellishments, because that's certainly what it is. I'm trying to just draw my skewer along the edge and not drip. Just spread my paint out a little bit. Throw a couple more in. I've got 26 seconds before my timer goes off, and I can tell you now that I have over 430 videos. So if you like what I do, look for the playlist at the, in the last 20 seconds of the video. Along with the contest, it says prizes. It's uh, my 18 by 24s um, exhibition, and it shows the the four prizes for the month of. The month of February. The drawing will be at the end of February. There's almost always a contest if you decide you'd like to contribute through PayPal or Patreon. You can do that and be automatically entered. As long as you have an up-to-date email address and you're not out of the United States. I wish I could go further, but I cannot ship any further than that. I'm liking all of that. It doesn't keep me from wanting something else. <laughs> and I'm not going to come back for a part three but I do want to see what it'll look like if I use a little bit of that orange. And I kind of like that. It's just one line at a time. And then moving the skewer across the edge at the bottom and I will touch those up afterwards. So what else do I have on my crib sheet list? I do sell my artwork and I think I may have sold three or four paintings today after that uh, other exhibition. I've ruined my crib sheet. It's become one with the paint. Um, ring the bell if you want notifications. If you're looking for my wet and dry artworks from YouTube, you can find them on the Facebook albums at the bottom of the description under the video. You have to click show more and go down below to find them with my Pinterest and my Instagram. Yep, a little orange in there. Never heard anything. I like it. I don't know how far I'll go. Since I'm almost done, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If I continue on doing more things, all I'm really thinking about is maybe going into some of these orange, uh, excuse me, some of the pink spots with the orange and throwing a little bit, throwing just a little bit in to the center to create some more interest. And I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I recommend playing. This is what I call playing. It's a really good thing. My skewer has... Ah, oh yes, the lines are good. So, what else? Uh, Teespring clothing. I just added a few new designs. Um, I give lessons at the house. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind if you like my processes. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for all the contributions in the past. You've kept me painting. Thank you for all your lovely comments. You make my day. And... I said I love you guys, and I do. I really do. Thank you so much for giving me a life <laughs> and helping me pay for my art supplies and just generally improving everything because you're here, I'm here. Ask me questions if you want to. I'll do my best. My book is on the Amazon link where you can shop at no added cost to you right below the video. The Amazon link exists. It has my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and my omelet turning spatula. Sorry, I get scripted. So this is Priscilla Batsell, probably you're gone, in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, finally on a nice day, and uh, saying I hope to see you again in the next 